Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Marikina, Marikina Conservatory um, or should I say Stellaris and we're featuring the uh, Stellar Empire Sarao Corporate Alliance which is a military, uh, not military, technocratic dictatorship. So we're now on our seventh uh, episode. Um, currently, uh, the SCA is preparing for an invasion on the Provogan Sovereign regions which have uh, from the looks of it become obscenely uh, large so uh, uh, which is kind of funny uh, in the southern galactic side there's almost uh, a lot of space for any stellar empire while on the north they basically uh, all are all clustered there anyway let's start um, I have to make my war preparations anyway for the uh, against the uh, Provogon uh, sovereign regions. For now, I'm Good still having some. Is where you find it. Uh, oh, what's this? Okay, so this will be. Um, probably this will be just an, uh, uh, a robot colony. All two worlds will probably uh, assigned as a robot colony. Okay. And then this one. Okay, and then features. Uh, okay, uh, let's proceed now. So for now, I'm still having a lot of negative uh, economies. Uh, previously, as well, I've already uh, engaged in uh, uh, terraforming. Uh, okay. I've been terraforming planets to continental in preparation for any uh, human refugees. Uh, the Commonwealth of Man currently is having a war to against um, um, a fallen empire, which is uh, the Sawir Protectors. So I don't not sure if how it will fare under not. the. Uh, what was this? Vassal under research actualized. Okay, so the Commonwealth of Man was basically defeated uh, early on. Huh. Okay, so basically they're now under the column. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Climate optimization. Okay. Uh, Fortune Ministry, Industrial Subsidies, what do you call this? I uh, will go for um, the smallest is this one. So, and uh, for the time being, I'm imposing new policies on my uh, uh, on my uh, what, the, what do you call this vessel. Uh, so I'm increasing their. Uh, uh, but for now, I can't increase because I like the influence points. Um, because I I need right now the influence points to uh, capture some territories or claim territories. Um, so we're just gonna mount up all our uh, so I need three more just to capture this whole sector um, for now mostly the populations of the uh, Sarah corporate the largest mostly robots which basically does the manual labor of uh, or does the manual job of uh, doing the uh, the most basic resources. However, for the uh, for the specialist, uh, for the alloys and strategic uh, resources, um, I'm afraid uh, the popular it's an actual workforce. We needed an actual workforce labor there. So for now, the three basic: uh, the energy, the minerals, and the food is already uh, being dealt with by the androids here. So the rest of the uh, group here is, of course, uh, manual labor. Um, okay, so most of the okay, um, I guess this one we can set their rights. Okay. Situation log revised. All right, we're going to open ground vault. Situation log revised. Okay, so we're just gonna set this one as residence. Uh, 
Uh, research. Uh, research as well. Okay, so I guess uh, <coughs> all the cannons research is almost finished. Um, how about. Uh, yeah, we'll go for plastic armor. Okay, so we got a lot of planets here that needs managing. Same goes with Echidna, Hyper Dad, numerous others. And for now, most of my uh, fleet is going to be uh, going and stationed to the uh, Pogonga border area. Well, the Pogonga democracy seems to be. Uh, well, their empire is quite huge, nearly twice as double the size of the Sarapopit Alliance uh, area. Hmm. Huh, okay. Okay, so they became... I'm not sure if there are migration treaties available for this, uh... For this type of empire. Upscaling uh, complete. We'll find out later on. Okay. We finally get a new uh, ascension perk. So I have to think this carefully. Go crisis, enigmatic, galact could go for galactic force projection. Or transcendent learning. Mm. Side of void boring, transcendent learning. Well, probably I'll go for Galactic Force Projection. We need a whole naval, naval capacity plus the command limits. Okay. Uh, probably I'll take the other one. If uh... Okay, so we have new fleets here. We are now on the 100. Okay. Okay, right, so we're just gonna go for uh, 422. Okay. Right, so we're gonna go for uh, I think three cruisers. Okay. Well, I try to keep my fleet here balanced, so just to avoid uh, uh, over specialization. It's more like a general purpose type of fleet. So we have a mix of cruisers that are artillery function, cruisers that have a semi-function that looks more like a carrier, and the others are uh, function as uh, special instruments. Okay. So I guess that's uh, good. Okay, uh, Um. 
Ah, uh, well, that looks like we want to need for generator districts. Do it. Okay. Colonial Enterprise Upsizing. Okay, uh, that seems to be good for... Uh, orbital debris or what? Situation Okay. Yes. Satar. Incidentally, we have a nearby um, uh, I got a negative 114 on energy credits. That's not doing good right now. Okay, so I guess I need to update this one. Okay, no worries with that. <laughs> We got the 4,000, we got the 5,000, how about the 2,000? Okay, uh... Okay, I guess, uh... The only thing I have to do is wait for the uh... And I'm going to ask my um... Vaisal here if he could probably increase... Wait... Um... Yeah, okay, goodbye. Um... 35... So we still lack 35 influence. Ah, let's get out of here. Okay, that seems to be the problem. Okay, we got two worlds that are uh, basically... Basically, our joint colonies. There are seem to be getting up. Although um, they haven't offered any migration treaty yet. Okay, 
Okay. Uh, however, I'll go with this one. Okay, we switch that. Okay, that's good. Right, uh, I guess it's a slow progress from the looks of it. What image them for the archives? Okay, my policy is <sighs> edicts could go for our capacities, but uh I don't have anything here. Okay, we could go for terraforming gases. And exotic gases as fuel. Okay, so we almost got all of the uh, edits there. Huh, great, probably I'll go this one. So no wonder I'm having a negative... Uh, so I'll just reduce that to 84. we we'll go for uh, Supremacy. Okay, <laughs> how about the four games? How are they doing? So I lack at least 16, probably uh, three, four, five months at least, or half a year. <laughs> Special project actualized. Okay, that's interesting. So I'm gonna order all of my uh, construction vehicles here or construction ships to do their thing. Uh, even Volca. So that they can harvest all the necessary minerals needed uh, on the surround. On the surrounding. Okay. Right. See on their planet if there is upscaling complete population. Oh, okay. Special project actualized. How about the market? Okay, Alien Rights Watch. Yeah, probably because the alien population is more numerous now than the humans. Make it so. Crystals. Okay. <coughs> we only got one, or at least four out of six. As for the L cluster, we only got one more. Okay, um, still don't have one on that.
Three mm. ways later the radiation, the radiation levels in some wasteland regions of mix appear to be greater than previous skin. Colonies in several states have complained about poor health, birth rates. Yeah, well, that's unfortunate, unfortunately. Uh, right. Probably we have to capture several systems here. Or probably extend here. But unfortunately we have only four influence and we're still negative in regards to uh, production. Well, the best way I could do is probably abduct the, uh, uh abduct the population here and, uh, <laughs> syncretic evolution. Here you got only a 16 pops. Mm. 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 Uh, oh well, there's really nothing much I could do. Uh, the only thing I got here about robots that are being uh, manufactured. Oh, sorry. This is my uh. I was thinking about that. Okay, um, I'm gonna go for hydroponics farm. So I guess my population growth is quite slow. Upscaling complete. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let us uh, negotiate with the terms. Yeah, okay, so the basic, uh... Okay, we've renegotiated terms on the Pavogan. So I guess it is uh, a bit of a problem right now. Okay, how about declare war? Conquer and claim. Yeah, I guess it's about time we start uh, a war. To protect our consumer base. Okay, let's attack. Hopefully the war will research actualized as yes, it would. Okay, how about the uh, alien zoo? Okay, so we now officially started the second SCA Provogan War of Conquest, or basically the human uh, Provogan War. So the main uh, objective here is of course to get the pops. The more pops we got, the better. Okay, good. We've uh, renegotiated the terms with that. Test Research is. actualized. We'll probably be, uh, uh, okay, let's get that out. 
Singles with uh, K uh, Fortress World. How about the Tachyon sensors? Princess, I uh, think. Okay, uh, let's see how they would mobilize their fleets right now. Ah, oh, god, the Volga regime is quite big from the looks of this one. So we're just basically getting a uh, small trinkets of their territory. Okay, so we're going to invade this one. Ah. Research oh actualized. Ah, they really build up uh, a, a whole lot of defense forces here. Okay, so this is a problem. We'll just go here. Uh huh. Plus steel armor. So we're gonna go for replicators. Um. Okay, so here's the problem. Um, armies, we have, probably have to recruit. One Yumar, one Sandar. Um, okay, well, we just need two arms. Robot and robot virus. So we're gonna use some androids to fight on the uh, for an invasion from the looks of it. So uh means uh we cannot uh okay let's go with this one. So this is gonna be a huge battle or land battle from the looks of it. Wait, wait, wait. Uh -huh. Hopefully, uh... Okay, we got blob here. I'm not really expecting much of a resistance. Basically, this is a province uh, area. Of course. Uh-huh. How about the seventh fleet? Okay, the seventh fleet will have to and third fleet we have to sit around and attack this one. Okay, uh let's see how this works now. Okay, there's a, this is a small fleet. Competitive station engaged. Okay. For now, it will be suicide if... Okay, now they're attacking Braxis. 
but they don't have any landing force. Carters is nothing but uh, Okay. Starbase under assault. Right. Okay, that's not much of a resistance. Get their populations here, land armies. So, probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to relocate their armies. We have lost a starbase. Upscaling complete. Okay, so this is a long dragging war for now. Attempting to acquire planetary market. Okay, we got small victories. Everything is ridiculous here, I guess. Engaged. Okay, so this is more like okay, we got the uh, four thousand feet here. Okay, uh established okay uh, this one probably we're going to stop all the pop growth and it will be a generator and then this one okay Planetary market secured. Right. Uh -uh. 
Okay, they got 15,000, 14,000. This one, yeah, guess this. Attempting to acquire planetary market. Okay, they're probably chasing this one. A single cruiser, I guess. Okay, now that we have um, Yep, we now all have the armies here Now we have to put them there Okay, that will serve good Foundation has foundation mm -hmm. off. <laughs> We're not. Uh... Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, I guess this is quite the difficult part of war. Is uh. Wait for the uh. For now, the armies here are currently defeating the uh. Pova Tan. So we have to get as much as territory. The problem I have with this is I can't change the war objectives from uh. Window presents an overview of our current war. Each side suffers a war exhaustion, depending on how the war is progressing. Okay, well. Now that's not the, uh... Upscaling complete. Okay, uh, let's repair all the, uh... how this animation uh, fleet of theirs uh, fares on the actual fight. Fortunately, the problem I have is that I... Okay, I'll probably... I think we have Mercenary Enclave. Uh, we haven't met yet the... Uh, well, it's one of mercenary services, we're out of clans. Okay. Well, uh, well, we could talk with them. Ah, we need to rent a fleet. Must be true. The very least already renting our fleet. Okay, uh, we actually need a different, uh, we already have the southern enclave, the trade enclave. Okay, we... Okay, um... Okay, how about, uh... Okay, we don't have three other enclaves here. Keepers of Knowledge. Okay, uh, we do have positive relations with the Emissera Corporation. We have cordial uh, relationships here. But, well, we can form a commercial pack. 
This will increase the value of each one. Recipient must be independent. Unfortunately, it's not independent and currently at war. Huh. Olympia Industrial World. Cat Sandar humans. Right now, okay. Uh, this is uh, quite a bit of a problem. Uh, claims is really ridiculous right now. I need a hundred thirteen. Okay, I'll just have to travel here. Planetary market secured. Okay, that's good. Competitors detected. Okay, where are you? As a system. Oh. Oh, okay. Good. 6,000. Got 5,000. Okay, uh... Got seven thousand, five thousand. Okay, uh, right. Can we increase the production of uh, okay. yeah, I guess so. Can at least increase any fleets here. Yeah, that'll do. Yes, uh, food is plus 13. Okay, we got 4,000, 6,000 feet. Land armies with that. Oh my. You have 2,000. It's not very good. Okay. So, how many armies do we got here? Okay, uh. Four thousand. Research actualized. Okay, wrap with ten. Okay, habitation module, basically anti gravity engineering. That's what we need right now. Okay. Sell this one, uh, sell this, sell this, and let's buy alloys for the uh, uh, SCA third fleet or uh, we'll go for the uh, uh, fort fleet. Okay, let's 
we have this actualized. Okay, uh, Alien Zoo, what do we got next? Probably we'll go for, um, Star Beast Capacity. <laughs> we got plenty of, uh, Okay, so we've already besieged the uh, area here. <coughs> okay, uh, right. Well, at least the Promogan government uh, sent their forces. Okay, uh, where's the nearest science vessel here? Okay, let's see, well, yeah, let's uh, research this labs. We probably have to get this one as well. But I like 124, 88. All right. So how large is their army here? Vulcan capital is about 2,300 on their defenses, so we need at least 3,000. So from the looks of it, I'll have to uh, um, okay. Okay, uh, Going for another um, round of armies. Okay, we go for three. One, two, 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 three. So one, two, three. 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 I'm gonna get those. One, two, three. three. So I'm gonna get one, two, three. 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 One. Okay, we don't know about, about Clarus. Yeah, I guess we've already over exceeded our uh, army here. Or on the pops. Upscaling complete. Okay, we'll probably be needing a few guys as well. And have it guarded there. Uh, 
like the one fifteen and seventy nine. Okay, so this thing is gonna be very difficult. <laughs> Upscaling complete. Okay. But that's okay, we can uh Okay, we're gonna attack this one. Okay, uh, they got a mercenary fleet here, I guess, but uh, we're going to attack them anyway. Okay, back on the do 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 Robots and robots. Uh, so how's the technology? We still have a year to complete the habitation module. I guess we go on an offense here. Try to search and destroy the fleet. Or this fleet. Okay, so we got three new fleets here to destroy. The Star Fleet, the 6,000, 4,000, and this one. Okay, once we capture that, we're gonna head forward here. Okay, all of them. It's not gonna attack anyway. Woo! I'm not sure why they haven't colonized this one. Oh! Great. Tell me it's an alien hive. Okay, they have a massing of uh, giants. Now we're gonna destroy their fleet here. Okay, uh, where is my nearby? Yeah, I'm just uh, going to do a research system on that. Okay, so things are heating up, but I have to save this. This is... Um, uh, SEA Episode 7. Episode 07A. So let's take a break for a while, and we continue this uh, second human provoking war. Okay? Hello everyone and welcome back to uh, uh, 
to our uh, recorded gameplay session so let's resume our uh, recorded gameplay here uh, after that refreshing break okay uh, things are uh, currently going uh, on in, uh, intense here because uh, we have to destroy these uh, three fleets right now independence guaranteed ah. I guess they're asking for help now so this will put a sour relations on the uh, uh, sour. Okay. Uh, I don't know what's their population here, but they can offer a friendly relations. Huh. Yeah, but I was waiting for a friendly relations with the. Uh, unfortunately, we're still at war. Okay, so I guess this heightens some uh, or escalates some uh, issues on our uh, on the Yamasara Corporation here. Uh, frankly, that's not exactly. Uh, anyway, we'll deal with them later. For now, uh, we have to destroy the naval fleet here. So I'm glad that I lowered the. Uh, Empires that are in this uh, large map, so my game uh, still uh, uh, runs smooth. Upscaling complete. Okay, uh, right. Okay. I just have to X this one. Uh, X this one. Okay. We're now going ahead and destroying this uh, other fleet. Okay, right. Um, Combat detritus reprocessed. How many for a cleaner galaxy? Okay. Um, Probably we should have an Autochon. We went uh, Rubica. Probably have uh, this one, Hydroponics. How is the technology? Seven months. That's still a long way ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're just waiting the last few batches of the army before uh, the invasion of the uh, home, the uh, the Pavogan homeworld. Uh, in the meantime, we're uh, off destroying their, uh, the the SEA Navy is off destroying and decimating the Povogan uh, Navy. Okay, let's see how. Okay, the, their navy is currently running away, so we have to go with the engagement. Right, this is gonna be a good battle because they have 6,000 with uh, probably cruisers here. Uh, we got only a handful of corvettes, or a lot of cor not a handful, but a lot of corvettes. So we're gonna go for some more <laughs> tactics. Okay, uh, let's see how things work. Okay, so there are war exhaustion is increased to 11%. Okay, so we just easily decimated their first fleet here by sheer numbers, which is a good tactic in some extent. Especially if you're, uh, you know, the SA is technologically a little bit behind, or even economically behind, so we're still bleeding out here. Afterwards, we're gonna send all their workforce laborers probably uh, somewhere on the. Uh... Okay. Okay, I guess that was good battle results from the looks of it. And the next thing we're gonna do. Okay, looks like our uh, whole army was. Uh, looks like their navy was crushed. 
Alright, we're still uh, getting rid of Star Base, of course. Okay. Uh, this one. And. Okay. Right, we're gonna attack this uh, two fleets. So we better uh, capitalize the success of the uh, these victories. Uh, we can also get this one. Okay, so here's the thing. We've already. Uh... Right. Uh... Okay, we got to okay, get all the armies now to invade the Povogan whole world. Fortunately, it's no easy task to take from the looks of it. They've probably prepared for this invasion. So, uh, yeah. Okay, that's... Uh, We just have to wait for the whole army to arrive. We've already set the uh, Provogan army here to auto uh, invade. So they have already have 16 uh, war exhaustion points. In the meantime, ah uh, no, we still don't have any L gates. Uh, how about relics? Okay, our gate is within our reach now. Okay, so this opens the possibility of uh, L gate. We've learned of the mysterious L gate. <laughs> yeah, okay. We could form a research group with them. Mm. Well, the Reedy Fleet's taking, uh, well, taking quite a while to actually attack. Marvelous. Communities, I think, does it look like so artificial? Probably will go for happiness and immigration. We could use generator districts. I think we could use generator districts. Okay. Right. devastating their uh, navy here. Oh, this is something indeed. So probably I'll send... Uh, what's this? Yeah. Okay, we need this... Uh, hopefully they're... Uh, the art... The, hopefully they're uh, the artisan troop. Amazing restore of our Friday world. Yeah. Okay, um, so this is a refinery world. We'll start with the crystals first, and then the full Gordian Fulfillment Center later on. Okay, time to uh, devastate their uh, need. <laughs> Upscaling complete. So, how many troops do they got exactly inside? 233. Yeah, they've already filled the whole area with their bases, I guess. The looks of it, 2.4 is not enough. Okay.
Probably that will be the bloodiest part of the war, I guess. So we just need 20 to um, actually occupy this one. But the armies are also the same, 2094. Probably the main goal I would be doing. Here to see. Okay, we're now going to devastate the need. Okay, wonderful. The need is this. Oh, how nice of them. Instead of us going to them, they're already coming for us. Research yeah, actually saves the uh, SCA Navy the trouble of hunting them down. Okay, uh, what do we got here? Probably we'll have to go for the Dewar Steel Armor, which is needed. Uh, okay, um, Mercantile, Expansion, Subterfuge, Harmony. Token dream. Yeah, probably will go harmony, unyielding, and then domination. Habitability increased by 10. Reset the one reduced by 33%. Orbital damage. Monthly food by 10%. Yeah, I think we go for habitability. Oh, please. Okay, this is a really difficult choice, but currently this is war time, but I think there's no need to defend right now, so I'll go for adaptability. We need this one to boost up the, uh, the expansion. So we only got three. Uh, okay. Alright, so I'm just gonna add more uh, Okay, so we just devastated their fleet Continental world hmm. So okay, they got now 22% They're more on war exhaustion right now Probably this is the nearest, so we'll go get this one. Okay, so how's the war? Well, we could settle a status quo, but they're just giving us uh, empty, uh, empty spaces. They're not exactly giving even gold. Upscaling up. complete. Request okay, we're gonna talk with them. Oh, finally, the weekend commerce exchange. Well, they're not exactly the artisan troop, but we could like uh, nothing for now. Thank you. Okay. Right. They're not giving any inch of uh, land, of course, but that's okay. This is already expected.
Okay, so it's already 3,000. Uh-huh. Detritus analyzed. Okay, uh, probably we have to put all our fleets on repair. we'll be needing a new um, okay so I guess we'll be needing new uh, I call this armies again unfortunately one two three four is one two three four one two three four one two three four one two Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Then one, two, three, four. One, two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then, yeah, one, two, three, four. Uh, one, okay. I guess that's our oh, automated char movement. Uh, I don't know. Probably uh, offices, uh, precinct house. the channel works. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll go for... Yeah, I think we really want... That's uh, not needed anyway for now. We're gonna get busy uh, bombing this whole place, I guess. So bomb this one. Go for orbital bombardment and discriminate bombing. It's not a fortress world, it's an urban world, but it has a lot of... Uh, Seizure of planetary asset. Okay. 
Oh, okay. I guess they've already proceeded. We have 3,600. Anyway, I know the AI. They won't start an invasion plans without uh, making sure that uh, uh, it's they're not going to invade unless it's successful, of course. Very bloody war for the uh, okay, uh huh. Okay, Research actualized. Okay, we're probably going to go get this uh, LK activation. Hopefully, it's uh, something useful. Uh huh. Okay. Either get this one, we need the mercenary enclave, but we need this one. Yeah. No, no, no. I guess it's best we get this one. Just to, uh... More easier, anyway. Oh. So it has a population. Well, it's a small garrison. Uh, Sindra, I guess. Also has a small... Population basically a tomb world. Okay, we got new slaves, I guess. <laughs> new slaves for the uh, colony for the SCA. Okay, in the meantime, I'd like to work out my uh, decisions here. Lacking 12,000. I don't know, 12,184. Yeah, we'll get the votes, I guess, or the influence. Right? Of course, after the war. So I guess let's retreat here on this part and start bombing this. We have to buy indiscriminate. Well, honestly, we need the whole population, but. <laughs> Starfleet. Okay, uh. And we have to, uh. You know, engage here. Land the armies as well. Wait, uh, before we land, um, I'll assign a general. Uh, probably he's 50. Yeah! See, let's go. Go start uh, smashing. So it's gonna be a very, very tough battle from the looks of it. And we've already added. Uh, Right, so I guess
guess they just reinforce it this uh, Henry here, General Henry. So we got now 2700. And the Provorgan Commonwealth, uh, 34th Fleet is also, uh, and even the Provorgan Confederation is uh, putting up their forces here. Okay, uh, we'll have the 151. Now, uh, I'll probably sell some uh, gas. Just keep that uh, war economy chugging. Okay, that's good. Avalon! Okay, uh, we got Auto Challengers to Office, Precinct Castle, and we also forgot to hold the strongholds. Alright, star base capacity, that's good for us. Um, I think we'll go for a gene clinic. We'll be ca um Okay, uh we'll probably add some uh hydroponics uh farm there. Okay, the invasion is very brutal here in the uh, Pogolvan homeworld. Mm -hmm. You have this car about a piece with the remains of a massive particle accelerator and eater. Okay, fascinating. Okay, in the meantime... Uh, second fleet will have to... Uh, uh, we have to put some uh, fleets on them. Uh, some extra ships. This one. Uh -huh. um, probably going to build uh, chemical plants. <laughs> okay, so I guess all is going well on the warfare here. So it's a bloody battle as expected. Research actualized. Right, we're steel armor. Uh, uh, we're gonna go for quantum missiles. We need that. Let's 
fun pops. Yeah. Uh, no. Wait. Only needs around 50. Oh, okay. So they're now using uh, unity points. I didn't know that. So how about for the Commonwealth of Man? Well, they're very cordial since uh, their war is still raging at the moment. Hmm. Okay. Uh, this fleet is kind of busy bombarding this one. That all population. Okay, uh, right. So we're pummeling them and keep on pummeling them until, uh, I think we should uh anything. Yeah. Okay, for now we're still busy in their warfare. Um so we're just waiting for a big ass fleet uh for the uh Provogon to uh conjure up so that we could uh Okay, right. Uh -huh. Guess they're all ready. Yeah, I think uh, I have to send all these fleets now, or army, uh, army troop transports to occupy uh, this uh, area. Yeah, right. Okay. Good. I should do the trick. Uh, all armies will arrive in, the, in that area. Okay, I'm going to reinforce them again. I'm just going to add the general here. Uh, yeah, 29 year old Kian Stu. Who will be participating in the battle for Poboga. Oh, you died. Magellan. Uh, okay, I'll just recruit this one. So officially, the war started here on 2289 August 25th. Yeah. Okay, so we still need to uh, actually. So we still need to secure this one. Uh, okay, so we still need to secure the Blarkus. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, it seems that uh, Pogovan is the only planet here. I 
Okay, uh, we can wait for about 109 uh, influence points. Let's just see which uh, fleet here needs to be. Okay. Uh, okay. <coughs> it seems that the uh, well, the SA and the Marine really uh, wiped it out the uh, or really destroyed the Apobulgan uh, uh, army here. Pogovon army. Sorry, it's really difficult to. Um, to pronounce this word so the empire capital has been taken over well a bunch of androids planetary I guess. market secure hunter killer group robotic okay wonderful so we got uh, Okay. Ah, yeah, I really hate it when they usually uh Okay, I'll just put the put the whole army here. This will be uh SA Gendamari SA Gendamari Get this one, a whole cluster of these uh, five systems. Yeah. And we'll see for the market. Okay, there's no humans around. Okay, they're very friendly. I think I'm gonna assign. Uh, one here just to improve the relations. Research actualized. <laughs> okay, gene clinics. Uh, I will go with the hyper entertainment forums. Detritus analyzed. And, uh, how much is this needed? About 110. Okay, so I still need 110. Uh, we can wait after I get the population here. Okay, uh... Okay, get the Marine Expeditionary Force. Okay, 
Okay, they're now targeting this one. Okay, we needed all the population we can grab here, so we still need this and this. Attempting to acquire cargo market. Mm. Okay, I wonder, where is the artisan troop when we needed them? All we got is a mercenary enclave, a slave enclave, a trade enclave. And an epsilon. Huh, what's this? Ruthless capitalists. Well, they seem to try like this. Analyzed. Okay. Where is this located? Oh, up north. I think this is the part that we have. Uh, we'll get guarantee. Yeah. Uh, okay, if we have a non-aggression pack with them, we'll get the... Uh, we can open our borders. For now, the Emissary Corporation has been very friendly. Superior. Right, uh... Evading competitive fruit. Okay, so they've already have Barkus as our, uh... Okay, so we got a few resistance fighters here. Okay, time to be smashing these little uh Okay, uh we're waiting here. Okay, we got a lot of uh, workers here needed. So for now... Station under assault. Uh-huh. Olympia. Okay, uh, right. Looks like the Navy is at it again. Research actualized. Uh, 
okay, you're probably going to, um, well, we'll go for a swarm of missiles. Okay, so just give me a moment. Okay, let's see how this fight goes. Okay, I was just uh, busy uh, a few seconds ago. Okay, it seems that the whole... Uh... Okay, so this is a good fight on the army. So, 1776 army versus 4182. So this is gonna be a very, very uh, large battle, I guess, on the land. <laughs> Starting to uh, you know, decimate the navy here. Okay, the navy is basically inferior. Okay, the only thing I need right now is this one, which I only lack about 58. And then Sudra. So basically this will be the new uh, Provorgon province or Provorgon occupied region. Uh, I think... Uh, okay. Wait, wait, what, what was that? Where's this located? Oh, okay. Alright, uh, I think we could go with this one. Probably we're not expecting much resistance here, so we could just uh, uh, probably I'll send Scott Thompson for that. So uh, floor is yeah, it doesn't really have any much uh, uh, doesn't really have much of def any defenders to be honest. Okay, right. Uh, okay, how about the situation log regarding L cluster? Declare thickly archivister rival. Okay, so it seems that they're gonna do some battles here. 
but they do have uh, also overwhelming uh, Okay, so I have all the claims. Still need 44, so probably that's about 11 months, 10 or 11 months. <laughs> well, we need this one first. Torturous Unification Center. I don't think, uh... Probably I'll go with this one. Nyx is basically a uh, colony. Avalon. Well, I've got a stronghold here. So um, I'll probably go with the. Okay. And a kidnap, probably stronghold. Be the first. And then... Okay. Attempting to acquire planetary market. <laughs> so at the moment, the demographics of... Uh, so you managed to light the... Oh, what the hell? No, 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 no. Okay, this is wrong. They shouldn't surrender. Uh, okay, this is annoying because I was supposed to, uh, uh, you know, recapture, um, uh, Great again, the Marines are... This is annoying because we're supposed to be winning here, Blocus. Okay, uh... Blocus will have to be resettled and abandoned. Uh, probably have to, uh... Put this one to Olympia. We need all the pops we could get in Olympia. Right. Okay, this costs about 50 credits. Uh, I could, I'm okay with that. Uh, wait. Has policy resettlement allowed? What the hell has policy resettlement allowed? No, we're not. Okay. Uh, okay. Right, resettlement allowed. Uh, resettlement. Okay, we're gonna allow this one. Sorry, but we need that. Workers will have to be uh, transferred to Olympia. Olympia. Okay. 
But all of them, all of these pops will have to be resettled for Olympia. Ah, except the science director, so I like. Okay, abandoning colony would cost 200. Okay, fine. Glorcus is... How about Olympia? Okay, uh, Olympia. Huh. Popogovon could be a fortress world. Uh -huh. Okay, we need all the pops here with the job. So we still need a lot of more pops here. So probably we're gonna draw this one uh, on Pogovon. Uh, just give me a moment here. Okay, Pagava will have to be resettled. Um, I'm gonna move him to Olympia now. Sorry, but... Oh, wait, 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 there's a human. Oh, God. Wonderful. Okay, needs we can now resettle. Okay, uh, this is good. Uh, actually, this is really good. Uh, let me see the, uh, rights. We got full citizenship. How about human? We got boy rune. Uh, oh, I saw humans. Huh. Okay, I could have sworn I saw a human here. Okay, I'm gonna check the pops in, uh, Olympia. Uh huh. Got 40 unemployment. Uh, okay, fine. I think I have to uh, demolish these. Okay. Uh huh. Their job is. Okay, so we got 40 unemployed pops. Uh, I think we have to re. Ah, uh, yeah, we're just gonna dump them. And then put them under muscle lock. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I like 50, but we're, we're gonna fix that anyway. So for now, I guess this will be, uh, we're going to uh, continue this. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna say this. This will be SCA episode 07B. Okay, and uh, thank you for watching everyone, and see you on episode 8. Bye-bye!